Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. We have started a brand new series, series 10 on circles. This is of episode number 2 and today we are going to talk about circles and some of the important terms and concepts related to a circle. So let's dive right in. Now this, sh this shape or this curve or this graph highlighted in bold white is the circle. And circle and circle is something which is which has a center so this point often represented by uppercase O so this point is called the center of a circle and this distance so we have randomly taken a point here let's say this point is A then the distance between the center and any point on the circle is the radius of a circle now what is also important to understand is that whenever we draw a circle, the circle divides the plane into three equal parts. So what do we mean by that? So one is the part which is inside of a circle, one is the part of the plane which is on the circle, and one is the part which is outside the circle. So the circle and its interior is called circular region. Let's take a look into it to understand this. So we have drawn a circle here, and this is a circle with center O right so now the circle has divided the plane into first part is which is the uh, shown here in bright blue which is the part which is inside of a circle right then you have this portion which is which is shown in bold white which is basically I have highlighted the circle itself so this is the second part of the plane so we have the circle itself the part of the plane which is inside of a circle and then you have everything else which is shown in bright orange so now the reason friends I wanted to make sure that you understand this is because late, later on in this webisode in this series and in late in subsequent series when we talk about areas of circle it will be very important to understand what is the difference so where we have the part which is inside of a circle the circle itself and the part of the plane which is outside of a circle now a few other important things friends so we have a circle here now if you take any two points on the circle itself and then we join them that is what we have done we have taken any two points any two points on the circle any two points on the circle and join them with a straight line so I have taken a point A, taken a point B, and this is our this is our center O. And if I just simply join AB by a straight line, it has to be the straight line, then the line segment thus formed is called a chord. So AB is called a chord. So this is a chord. C H O R D. The line segment AB is a chord. Now, there is one special type of chord, which is that if you take one point, any point on the circle and draw a chord, so you, you have to take two points to draw a chord, but here I have taken a point, let's call it C, and C is such a point that when you take the point C and take the point B, and if you join them by a straight line, BC, this is a chord, because chord is any line segment which is basically joining two points on the circle but this chord is special in that this chord passes through the center so the chord that passes through the center the chord that passes through the center of the circle is called diameter so this chord BC is going to be called diameter so this is diameter of the circle so if you look closely, because this passes through the center, so BC can be written as OC plus OB because it passes through the center. Or what is OC? OC is R, OB is R, which is R is the radius of a circle or equal to 2R. That means diameter also sometimes written as lowercase d is equal to twice the radius. So this is something to keep in mind and we will be using a lot of these when we solve questions on circle.